Welcome back to Accelerate and welcome to what is going to be Cowbridge Cars and Coffee. Now, we've never done this before, but I've been told by many people this is the Cars and Coffee to go to. Apparently, the whole of Cowbridge turns into a car show. And one of the main things that everyone seems to say is the variety of cars is always on point. So we have dug the MX-5 out of hibernation. On this beautiful day, we've got the roof down, of course. George is my uh, ring man, uh, my cameraman at the moment. But anyway, we're going to head down there. Hopefully the weather holds up and we'll see what they've got to offer. Right, so we've come back to what is the main car park. <laughs> Stay out of my shot, George. So again, I've, oh my God, I'm not a fan of the new Aston Martins, but that is absolutely beautiful. Very striking Mustang in yellow. Another Aston Vantage. Lotus Amira. Now I know very little about the newer Lotuses, but this, the 240R, that is, oh my God, that is, to me, that just looks like one of the most fun cars ever. And Josh and Tom's dad, Craig, he knows Lotus inside out. He actually races them. So I'm sure he'd approve of this as well. So all your flashy new Ferraris are fantastic, but to me, this generation of Ferrari is what I grew up with. This is what I think of. And it's even in the correct colors. Obviously you've got to have the tan beige interior on the red. Oh, it's just, oh, this, oh, look what we've spotted just a, oh my God. I don't think I've ever seen one of these in this country. Again, to any normal person be like, oh, it's a Mitsubishi Coupe. We never got this generation over here, as you can see, left-hand drive there. Fast and Furious made these cars absolutely famous. I just, I, I'm a bit shocked because I've just never seen one of these over here. I've seen this a few times now. An Escort, I believe, Martin just said it's an SI, I don't know much about it. But look, how, look how clean, even the interior. <laughs> oh man, it is an SI, well done, Matt. Georgia's idea of heaven, she's torn between which one she's going to steal, the bug eye or the hawk eye. <laughs> next to a Lotus as well. And another Scooby on the corner. And yeah, we just got a VW bus cruising by. I actually went in one of these for the first time the other day. Reese, one of my managers, took me out. They are so quirky. Now, I do like a Maserati, but as Tom said, he just did a wicked quote. Uh, it's known that if you can't afford the new one, you can't afford the old one, because that is the reliability that these things, the reputation that they have. Now, I love, I get torn between Mark II and Mark III are my favourite generation of Fiesta, and this has got to be one of the cleanest I have ever seen. And I love that it's not trying to be an XR, it's, it is just a pure Mark, uh, <laughs> Mark II. <laughs> I knew we were going to see some funky things today, but oh my god. A Gran Torino, that is insane. <laughs> Another showstopper, you guys have probably seen this before, this is Reese's R34 Bagged Saloon. I've always loved this thing, but not, uh, since we got to drive it, we've done a full feature on this. Um, you need to go and watch it and go and give Reese some love because this is class. He has got a YouTube channel as well, I will link below. So as far as Subarus go, people can get very nerdy. Uh, the Bug Eye was always the, the disliked one. As they're aging, I did say I am starting to really, really like these more than, more than some of the other ones. And it's nice to see, oh, little tiny carbon mirrors. Yeah, of all the Scoobies here, that is, that's pretty cool. Oh, E34, I'm sure this is a cruise culture. That is a mad blue on the camera. It looks more astral blue, but it's got a more of like an aqua tint to it. That is beautiful. If anyone knows the color of that, let me know. And oh, we've seen this at Cruise Culture many times. This is the twin turbo V8 Mark 1 Focus. Absolutely bonkers. Yeah. Oh God, it's like being back in work. Don't get PTSD, Tom. I know, I'm, I'm suffering as well. <laughs> Especially the 107s. <laughs> that's cool though. You've got the 107 pulling in and then the C63, the 204 behind. What a comparison. So as I said, a Cerberus is on my dream list of cars to drive and own. And in that colour, TVR sort of started off this whole crazy flip paint job. Now we saw this thing burbling its way in. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen one that looks like this. This is a Triumph TR7 V8. That. Some cars look fun to drive. That looks like an absolute handful. So props to the owner. <laughs> And there's the Amira in motion. Now, although it's not my cup of tea, that does look striking. It does look very, very supercar-esque. That is the new Lotus. <laughs> we seem to have stumbled onto the MR2 section, which I'm not complaining because the, the Mark IIs, I, that's, believe it or not, that's another car I've always wanted to own. Kenny's owned a few of these. Oh, and we got Kate's a bath as well. Sounding incredible as it pulled in. And another MR2 next to a classic GC8 Impreza. And there's another MR2. It doesn't matter if you've got performance mods, as long as you've got pretty flashing lights, it's cool. That is the boosted Capri. Sounds a lot more sedate than I thought it would. <laughs> My man! <laughs> and we've got a Ferrari with an MR2 body kit on it. Nice. And we've got another Mark II I think we missed earlier that's turned up. 
I like that colour. Something tells me that is a drift car with that angle on the front. And that wing looks really good on the back, actually. Now, this car we saw on the way here. Now, I don't think I've ever seen one in person, and this is just unbelievable. And I know a lot of you will agree with me. Lancia Delta Integrale. It looks like an Evo 2. Oh my god, this is not the one we saw. There are two of these here. There was one parked out on the street. No way is there more than one of these here. That is incredible. Wow, 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 I want it. Oh, and next to us, I've always said, another one that would be my dream car garage, a Mark III, Mark IV Escort. Yeah, how many cars have you got a 4 cruising past? <laughs> so we got better performance section here. The better performers have always got some incredible cars, including a brand new, wow, brand new GT3 RS. That is, they look even more bonkers in person. Now, I've seen this, I worked on the road from Better Performance, and I've seen the back end of this thing in their car park a lot, and again in person. It takes balls to modify one of these in that way. Crazy, and obviously the 488 Pista. So again, I'm not the biggest Porsche fan, but seeing one of these in person, that wing is insane. This is the first brand new GT3 RS I've seen in person. And once again, even if you don't like them, they are so striking. And that colour combo is absolutely crazy. Oh, see, I've said it before. Keep all your brand new Ferraris. That is cool as hell. And the event door behind. Oh, it's nice to bring my car around. No pressure. He's got everyone watching him trying to park his quarter of a million pound car. And I think that is a 147 GTA, I believe. I don't think I've ever seen one of those in person. Oh, that is cool. Again, if you know, you know. And if you do know, you're the type of person I want to speak to. Right, so we've got two here that I really want to have a quick chat about. We've got a 356 Speedster, I'm assuming. It's a wrapper that is cool as hell. I just realise how small these are. The windscreens on them are tiny. Ooh, 996 over there as well. And next to it, I just insulted Martin because I said, these don't really do it for me, but I respect them. A Mark 1 Escort, that is incredibly clean. Again, with these cars, you'd be hard pressed to find a rotten one. That's just crazy. This place is so big. You could walk, you could do a lap of the place and look back and then it's a completely different car show because there's constantly cars coming and going. And all of us just said, wow, you do not see these anymore. Is that a Z4M, I believe? Z4 Coupe? That's cool. So again, from afar, you think, oh, this is just a normal standard E36 with a missing mirror cap. And now Tom looked at this and he thought, oh, it's K swapped. And I, I see where he's coming from. That, you could mistake that for a K. And Martin's just pointed out, oh my God. Boosting a four cylinder. When was the last time you saw a boosted four cylinder E36? That's mad. It's the size of your head. <laughs> what? <laughs> So like Tom just said, I love on the outside, you've got trim missing, there's a crack on the bumper, the wing mirror glass is, uh, thing is missing. Through that, that I, what a sleeper, that is awesome. So this thing looks amazing parked up, but it also, well, to me, it looks even better when it's rolling. There's the man. Hey, hey best car here. <laughs> oh, the noise. Wow, another sleeper, factory sleeper, twin turbo V10 RS6. You right? <laughs> It's so cool seeing all these cars moving now. Oh, look, a Citroen Berlingo. Whoa. Yeah, I like this car. Bex is 350Z, as I said. I'm sure you got... Ah, <laughs> like that. I haven't seen that before. The pink NOS bottle's new. If you haven't seen our previous video, it's uh, Cruise Culture. Underneath, she's had it all powder-coated, and it is show car quality under there. Oh, sorry, just seeing all of these cool cars moving is cool as hell. Luigi, let go, need the Yeah. Right, so apparently there's a few different car parks here, and the variety is unbelievable. So... Uh, where do we start? Let's start over here. So first of all, Fiat Seicento. And now this is something I wanted to look at because not only is this a clean UNOS, it is a VR Limited, just like mine. This is the other the color combo. They did them in two combos. Mine is the other one, obviously. Very rare to see a 300ZX in standard form. This is probably one of the most standard ones I've ever seen. Right, so we talk about variety a lot. So we've got a Nissan 300ZX parked next to a Skoda Felician, I believe they're called, next to an Austin Maestro. And... <laughs> A four-door Nova, which is incredible to see, still on the original hubcaps. And an RS Escort van. Right, so I've, as I've said before, my knowledge of American cars is very limited. We've got a Plymouth Fury here, and I was saying when I pulled in the size on the thing, and to put it in perspective, <laughs> there's a Mini parked right next to it. And I do believe they're parked level behind each other. Yeah, that's the difference. Right, now I've always said if I won the lottery, that is the one supercar I would buy straight away, and it's uh, just pulling in now. I live in my dream. <laughs> oh, 
and then that's the car you take out on the weekend when you want to actually have some fun. Now this thing, the great thing about the V-dub scene is you can make a car look immaculately clean, you can go for the rat look, and either way it will be accepted. The bay windows are, that's awesome. Right, so we're moving on to the section that Tom's dubs, the cute section, or the, uh, yeah, the classic section. The original 500 there, couple of minis morris miners and beetles and going back to what we said you can modify these cars in absolutely any way and they're just accepted and obviously massive shout out to kurt and his beetle and that's now since we did the feature on it is on a kurt dash six sits absolutely beautiful <laughs> that fitment it's mad we normally go to shows and i'm like oh that's a so and so so and so that's a so this all the classics and stuff like i know very little about so here is a cool mitsubishi truck tell me what it is more cars rolling in that i have no idea so apparently singer don't just make porsches they make these too. Right, now one car I actually do know about, because I used to own one of these, a W202, absolutely on its backside, so I would assume it's on air. That just looks absolutely immense. All you need on these is a nice set of wheels, right height, job done. And next to it, you've got what could possibly be the polar opposite, a Honda Beat with the bright seats. And for those that don't know much about these, this is an original Japanese K car. All of that Zebra trim is actually factory i really really want to drive one of these on my many list of things to drive obviously one of the main cars of the show because it's got an accelerate sticker now we are having this on the channel um hopefully very soon a genuine john cooper works mini martin this is class and that's the first time i've seen collins vxr martin you've got cars like this e-type just tucked away in the corner and it keeps saying about variety so we've got a 458 <laughs> next to a mark 2 mx5 I know which one's better, but hey ho. And a 996. We were trying to figure out what this is. It says something like cup on the rear. I don't know whether this is just a 996 that's been spiced up. It's got the cage. It's got a Nürburgring sticker on it somewhere. But the interior, that is very special. This looks like a serious bit of kit. Here we are, Carrera Cup. Let us know if anyone knows if that's a genuine thing or not. 944 next. Honestly, God, the variety here. This seems, I think I've missed all of these. Another thing that we weren't sure about is a Mini there with a 1590 GTI sticker. I know we got some mini fanatics among us, so let us know what the deal is. Is that an actual thing? It's got some American hot rods here. I remember um, in Bridgend, I was sat at the lights just on a normal day and that pulled up next to me, blew me away. There is something about seeing American hot rods in this country. And we got the proper rat style pinstriping and everything. Again, the variety amongst the hot rods and stuff like that is incredible. And one of our favorite cars of the show, we saw this thing pull up. The size on American cars is just ridiculous. It doesn't even fit in a UK parking space. So much chrome, but that is, that's one of the best cars here. So we've got a few British classics here. One car I really want to run a drive, say it every video, a VX220 Turbo, I love those things. So we've got a later, I believe, um, E-Type Jaguars just having an argument with Tomo, which ones we prefer, and a TVR Serba. This is on my dream list of cars to own. I absolutely, these things just still look modern to me. Interior is absolutely crazy and that does not look nice to work on <laughs> but one day one day i will own one of these wow you want to talk about variety remember the last time you saw the really cheap at a car show i oh my god that is amazing all the army details and that's just as basic as the mx5 that is mega cool that's got to be one of the coolest things here Right, so we're now entering the third or 73rd car park i've lost count already but car, this is nuts like you can the whole of Cowbridge basically turns into a car show. So every car park you go into, there's cool cars. We've got a Porsche 928. Now, I honestly can't remember the last time I saw one of these with what I consider the best wheels. Oh, that's cool. And as you look around, a Triumph of some sort there. A 190E. The variety. Oh, I know I keep saying it, but the variety. And there's some strange guy walking around cars there. Watch out for him. Taste is a weird thing. I really didn't like the 599s when they came out, but my God, they had aging well. But the way Ferrari's going... Uh, they're not to my taste but this now I think they're aging so well and amongst these normal normal cars it's so striking especially in that color combo that's beautiful I, I wow v12 that is a proper grand tour there we go <laughs> love the sound of a straight cut oh it's a Talbot whatever that is right I want to show you this but there's a better car driving past just kidding so there's a lot of show stoppers here but this uh, Tom spotted this from all the way up the thing. You cannot deny, you can't miss a Dodge Charger in black, in the correct colour. 
the size on these things next to an F-150 as well. And again, once again, the variety where it's coming out because you've got it back next to this Nissan Figaro that looks absolutely tiny there. But look at that. I mean, this is one of those cars in person. The presence of this thing is just absolutely insane. And to see one in this condition in this country is pretty special. So this might be a bit controversial, but this is one of my one of my favorite, if not my, my favorite, I can't even get my words out, favorite Mercedes of all time, the CL. And I'm glad he's got parking sensors because that's very close. But anyway, uh, my uncle had one of these, the twin turbo V12, and I never got to go in it, but I've just... These are getting cheap enough now, but I'm too scared to own one because the repair bills are quite scary, but that, oh, that's beautiful. Now, classic Fords, we all love it. I know there's a lot of classic Ford fans among you. We do love a Capri and incredibly yes it has got a turbo oh my god so the capri never came with a turbo that's not supposed to be in there but i imagine that is an absolute handful i'm sure this is the guy uh mr coleman i believe it is i'm sure he's got a youtube channel so if you get a chance i'll see if i can link it uh, go and have a look as this thing's class and as we all know i've got a soft spot for these ever since driving one they are absolutely so underrated that's got to be the quietest mark ii i have ever seen and heard i've had this i've had this debate before of all the newer flashy r8 this is still my favorite i think the original is so much more elegant and it's not it's not trying to be crazy in your face it is just a subtle supercar oh, and it's a gated manual props it's my x-type jags great great grandfather right here so we said earlier the whole of car bridge turns into a car show this literally goes all the way up the street there and there's just cool cars everywhere look wow that is cool as hell the size of that front wheel compared to the rear and a very subtle defender there i'm pretty sure that's a factory color and we've come to the best section oh this guy must know oh it's alex i didn't realize love a mark 5 i'm glad he brought that today and look it's that car from youtube oh my god do you know what's even better than a, a fully modded mark 1 a bog standard mark 3.5 not these are weird looking things mark are something else i know very little about but you can see how small it is. Look at, you're not a tall guy, but that you make that look tiny. <laughs> so amongst this very normal car park, the car show does spread on because we've got a Glanza here next to a modified Tigro. And then next to it, a Gallardo Performante. You see hurricanes everywhere. I can't remember last time I saw a Gallardo. That was Cars and Coffee in Cowbridge. And I've got to say, as soon as we got there, we got there early, it started tipping down with rain. And I really thought it was going to put a lot of people off. And I think it did, because compared to last year, apparently it wasn't as busy. But I am still blown away with the amount of people that brought their fancy weekend cars out. The variety absolutely blew us all away. So a massive thanks to Tom and Josh for inviting us. And even George enjoyed it as well. I did. <laughs> so we will definitely be coming back next year. It is an annual thing. Um, so hopefully the weather will be a bit good next time. But anyway, even if it's not, it was still an amazing day. So we'll leave it there now. Um, any, everyone that came up to say hello again, as we always say at car shows, really appreciate it. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Yay. Boom.